Good morning. I'm with Leah Curry. She's president of Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana. And Leah, it's great to be with you. Thank you. And it's I'm very happy to be here today. Especially during these times that we find ourselves. I mean, you've been here about a year or a little more than a year as president, though you'd been here at, at Toyota Motor Manufacturing here previously. There's a little more than 7,300 direct employees here at the campus here, manufacturing a bit more than 400,000 vehicles a year. How do you get everyone to work together to the common goal of producing a world-class vehicle? For Toyota, it's about our respect for people and teamwork. Uh, our team members really, really do have a lifelong careers here and ongoing development. So as we're working together with diversity of thought uh, that you can bring to the table, uh, we are able then to really be competitive, you know, because automotive is extremely competitive. And if you're not moving forward, you're getting passed up. And our team has really been able to you know, implement Kaizen's, which is the continuous improvement aspect of the Toyota way. And we take that along with new technologies and innovation, and we mold those together. And that's really what helps us be extremely efficient and very competitive. Toyota is one of the largest employers in the region and the largest manufacturing employer within the region. I mean, what attracts so many talented people to come to work at Toyota? The amount of development that Toyota puts into each and every person. You know, we work to develop our team members so that they can uh, aspire to whatever they want to do here. They can broaden their skill base or they can go up from a promotion standpoint. And I really feel like for their families, uh, the actual careers that we provide and the benefits we provide, it's really the number one place to be. What kind of opportunities actually exist here for somebody who's thinking, I might want to go work at Toyota. What's available? So there's a wide range of careers. I'll just start with, uh, you know, skilled or skilled maintenance. Um, you know, they come in, they're working on robots, they're programming uh, computers. Uh, we have a partnership with Vincent University. They can go on to a, uh, get a, a two-year degree, but they actually work while they're doing that. Uh, so that provides them actually new technology insights to the future. And that is a, a really uh, a high-tech career, and especially as we know the new type of technologies that are coming uh, that are already here. And then from a production standpoint, you know, we have a lot of team members that are in our production. Uh, we, we utilize uh, a lot of the learning uh, for, it's called Monosakuri, but it's how they can actually improve their processes. And uh, so they learn new skills. They learn how to well. They learn how to build different things. They learn how to get efficiencies from the Toyota production system out of their processes. And by doing that, then they're able to then become a team leader or a supervisor, group leader. So let's take a little bit of a change. Uh, less than a year ago, uh, in April, this plant was shut down. In fact, it was, I think all Toyota facilities all across North America was shut down. And then ramping back up in a pretty rapid order to be able to uh, meet the, the demand that was out there. I mean, what kind of things did you learn? What kind of, in particular, shutting the facility down, getting it back, going, and just bringing people back into the facility, was, were, there, were there some really interesting learning experiences for you? Yeah, of course, uh, you know, we were working diligently while we were shut down uh, from a leadership perspective. We were in connection with infectious disease doctors, and we built protocols that uh, the North American plants use, over a hundred different types of procedures that we put in place. And we shared those. We brought community leaders here, uh, pump systems for sanitization, barriers, uh, face masks, uh, infrared temperature taking. You know, we put a lot of these safety measures in place because number one, we want to make sure that the health and safety of our team members is bar none, uh, the best compared to anyone. What does being here, especially being a native of Gibson County, but being Toyota being here in Southwest Indiana, I mean, what does that mean for Toyota and what, what do you think Toyota means for the broader scope of the region? So not only are we all on boards in the community and our leadership are on boards and our team members are on boards. We give our time, we give our talent, and then obviously we give our treasure, we give our money, philanthropy. I mean, it's been over, what, $30 million for uh, the community. And me seeing um, how, how that money is spent, just actually seeing the improvements 
and the quality of life that we can provide for people that live here and that people that come here is really priceless. I mean, it's not something you can put, you know, a figure on. I think it meant everything in the world for this community for us to be here. Well, you're one of the true leaders and the visible leaders that throughout Southwest Indiana, but more importantly, you are one of the true female leaders in automotive in North America. I mean, what kind of advice did you give to a young girl who's sitting here thinking, I think I want to go into manufacturing and I want to work at Toyota? What kind of advice would you offer them? First of all, you can do it. We need more females and we need more female leaders. Going to the high schools or showing them what type of career it could be. or bringing in Pobots, which is a really uh, low mm-hmm. investment robots. We're showing them the cool things about what you can do here and that they can do it and they can make a really good living doing this job. And I think the, the key that I would tell them is have confidence. Have confidence. Join some robotics teams at your at your school. Get involved or project lead the way. Anything that can give you a different perspective about things that you're not you've not been around before, come take tours when we do tours again. Uh, you will see a whole other world that you can be a part of. So last question. As we're hopefully winding down with the pandemic and now we're into 2021, I mean, what do you see on the horizon for Toyota here? I mean, obviously, we you just uh, had a, 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 in terms of the startup for uh, the Sienna, which, by the way, is an amazing vehicle uh, manufactured right here in Indiana's Great Southwest. I mean, what's what's next on the horizon for Toyota? You know, for us in Indiana, you know, we're looking at, obviously, we always look at how to be more efficient. Uh, so how can we more, be more competitive? Uh, and that is about developing our people. So we're committed to uh, really starting new programs and having more commitment to the development of our people. One of those that we just did is called the 4T program here in, our, in the local Gibson County. And we're taking high school students and really teaching them about uh, high-tech automation and about high-tech manufacturing, and they're coming here learning, and then they're also uh, in connection with the school system. So we're wanting to prep the workforce of the future to be able to come in uh, at a faster pace and be able to hit the ground running more than what we've done in the past. So we're looking to partner with local communities, local high schools, to build the workforce of the future, and that that they are going to have the skills that they need to really take us to a whole other level. Well, I want to thank Leah for being a part of this. Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana makes some marvelous vehicles right here in Indiana's Great Southwest.